Hello everybody, welcome back to FTL Mod Season 3 Christmas Specials. Let me just start off by wishing everyone a wonderful 2016. Best wishes and all that stuff who's watching this. Let's get going. So yeah, it's a bit odd that we're still playing Christmas mods, but uh, this is going to be the last run and we'll be resorting back to the usual programming when this run is over. Whether we blow up on the next one or not, it won't change a thing. Sure. Right, uh, one shield layer, it's not too bad. Again, a teleporter because, you know. We're so wonderful at fending off borders. How could we not? Right, go in. Actually, you can stay there and power up the weapons a bit. <clears throat> not power them up, but, uh, you know, do the thing. And, uh, yeah, you might want to just stay here forever, you know? It's pretty cool here. Um, there's, um, no atmosphere. I'm not sure if you enjoy that or not, but, you know, we have it. So, you know, might as well make the best of it. Um, we also have, um, strong doors. I'm not sure if you're a fan of those either, but, you know, we, we still have them. And, um, yeah. I'm also noticing that uh, you are a dig back and have emergency respirators, but, um, you know. Really didn't wish to hit your shields with that one. Right, in, in, in. This has to be twisted around. Can we kill them before Santa blows up? I don't think we can. Alright, we're venting this as well. Everybody out. And Santa blew up. <laughs> it's the little things in life, I suppose. How the hell did I manage to breach there? Or was that an asteroid? Lots of fires, I'm a fan. Alright, Santa, go whack him. I'm gonna have to try and get that stunner through at some point. Don't hit shields! Good. They just got. Ah, oh, they hit me. You jerk bags. Well, there goes that plan. Well, goodbye then. Ah, I actually did manage to hit shields on that one. Contact civilian defenders. Good. We got stuff from that. Ugh, more borders. Come on, people. I kind of had it with this already. Great. Great. No, just freaking great. This is getting ridiculous, no? It's gotta... It's gotta become... I can't even talk anymore now. Hey, no. <sighs> Just border after border after borders after borders again. Which means this... Ah, oh, great. Hit the doors. Yep. Yeah, sure. Hit the doors. Why wouldn't you hit the doors? Oh, my God. Didn't even take off the missile launcher. Yay! And you're just never going to suffocate. No. No, you're just gonna, you know... Wreck shields entirely, right? Now uh, they suddenly have two shields as well. Alrighty then. Fire missiles, right? There you go. You couldn't go without that. 
<sighs> you know, sometimes, man, sometimes all you can do is just accept that the game is pulling one over. Alright, there you go, that's another crew member killed, even though the enemy can't target crew very well. Good lord, good lord, good lord, good lord, why? 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 Great start of the new year, though, right? You know, just casually getting screwed over again. It's what we're used to. Hell, it is what we're used to. <clears throat> yeah, go well, good job, they're fat, so you can't even do anything. And he's off. All right. Ah, great, our doors don't even get manned because... Yeah, okay, yeah, sure. <sighs> wonderful, wonderful start of the new year. Well, I mean, I mean, this gets uploaded. The 1st of January, I'm recording it to 28th. So, you know. But uh, seriously, can we stop at the borders? Uh, you made your point. We're not strong against borders. But uh, you don't have to rub it in by giving me five or maybe even 50 events where they all have teleporters or just randomly teleporting people in. I don't know. I like complaining. Can you tell? Hmm. Well, at least we haven't been caught by the fleet yet. That was just bidding icing on the cake, wouldn't it? We are safe. <clears throat> so we just wait for the artillery. Should really have something else to do in the meantime, you know? Even if it's just reading a webcomic or something. Mm. Whatever. That's a good one. Um, let's take this. No surprise that two engine, <coughs> two engines are great at taking down fire. Surrender <coughs> uh, is not an option. Pretty long stun, isn't it? I like that. Well, that sucks. That wasn't too much better. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Um, 
Well, he just blew up. And he's dead too. Cool. Thanks, artillery. Turns out from slave, la la la. <coughs> Alright, well, that's something for uh, borders, right? Now we're probably never gonna get bored again. Russian. We're not gonna call our mats Russian. No, I think it's a reference to Russian Rockman. Pretty sure he's uh, pretty active on the forums. It's been a while since I've seen something of him, though. We're gonna rename him, though. I will call him the Mighty Steve. <coughs> We're not gonna be doing racist things on our ship by naming Mantis after Russians. That's just unnecessary. The elf beams up at you for a second you fear for your life, but the smile is genuine. Boasting about how productive it's been, the elf gives you a sort of hot toys off the factory floor. Alright, cloaking! Badumtash. Aww. Hmm. I'll take it. Can't sell this because it's actually going to cost me 25 scrap. Goodbye. <clears throat> Do we have another store? No, we don't. So we can upgrade this. And that's all of our money gone. Hopefully, it is well spent. Should have gotten some repairs. Whoops. Because that missile flak can tear us a new one. Although, there's a good chance we might be able to fire before he can. It's not the great ch greatest chance in the world, but it is a chance. <clears throat> I don't want to, but I have to. Sorry, this is the best I can do. The elf calls out as you know the ship is now draining the enemy's defensive capabilities. Enemy defense systems compromised. Well, <clears throat> at least. Why isn't he moving? Oh, now he is. For some reason, he was waiting for the stun to wear off. <laughs> Odd. Yes, that's on fire, isn't it? Enjoy the fire. Probably put you on shields, really. Stun him again. Aw, oh, man. Every time they leave. That's when the thing fires, doesn't it? Well, most of your stuff's on fire, so, you know, there's not much left for you guys to do. There you go. I don't know if this does anything, but we need to scrap for ourselves to go get repairs in which we probably shouldn't risk anymore, huh? Yeah, because we're going to get taken over by the Rebel Fleet. Alright, so we lost out on... I don't know what you get for 25 scrap. I think you don't get anything. Yeah, we'll do the trade. Or more likely to need drone parts than uh, the other thing, right? And we get another store, which we will use to do some repairs. Oh, forgot about that. Alright, we'll do it now. Sell the serve drones. <clears> hmm, <throat> okay, good. Ha, huh, another store, hey! <sighs> like we don't have enough of those already, right? Nope. <sighs> sure, we're here, might as well, right? Now that we have our own <laughs> dude to sort of counter boarding. Ugh, why do we not have an airlock at the front? Alright, we're not using doors again, but at least they don't have to be manned in order to, to keep borders out. 
losing that shield thing is going to be a nuisance. So we'll send an elf. And go there. No, go go here. Same with you. Go. No, you're not going into oxygen. D frickin' eyed. <clears throat> All right. We also rather not have you go back to your own ship. Piling is done for. Now there's two trying to get in here. Now try to explain that. <clears throat> there's enough room for them. <clears throat> well, Santa, it was fun knowing you. Goodbye. Just refuses to vent at this point. That's great. <clears throat> Why are they trying to get in here with all their? This is not normal, all right. Sure, one's trying to get in these, and the other one's gonna go straight for that. But still, it's weird to see that happen. Are they just after my crew at this point? Like, yeah, we're just gonna be dicks and kill your crew rather than your systems because you know we're dicks. And we're gonna kill your crew instead of your systems now. I don't know, man. <clears throat> Let's just leave. Okay. So that was horrible and stuff. Hmm, I'm wondering if I shouldn't put you on shields. And you on engines. Nah. Alright, you can go here and into our exits. Elf looks up at you, you smile back, and the elf begins to grin. The alert systems blaze with news of fire on board, but you knew that already. Great. So, do these guys actually know that they're killing themselves by doing that? Ooh. Ooh. Offsets. Ooh. This weapon thing. This weapon glow is offset. And this one as well. Ooh. Chen cool. <clears throat> eh. Can't blame you. <clears throat> really. Uh, I think the mod's like two years old by now or something. So that's four hull damage just for the heck of it. Alright, Zulanius Sector, Lanius Sector, Ochlanius, whatever you prefer. <coughs> uh, valley level of those battles remaining. Okay. Elf is dancing and sing a popular song into a mirror. You leave before it notices you. Looks like they won't let you go in peace. But, on the other hand, no teleporter. Ah. <clears throat> Alright, well, there is a slight problem that if this thing hits whilst this thing fires, that will happen. <clears throat> I know, I planned it. I, I planned that. I knew that was going to happen like that, I just planned it.
Alright, uh, you might want to go to oxygen. You know. It's a good thing we started all of those fires in a ship with no air on board. <clears throat> Imagine what could have gone wrong if he made breaches. I don't want to. Uh, you have contact the enemy ship's AI and pilot asks it to shut down its engine. The AI remarks it simply cannot allow that, but as a favor, it limits the engines to minimal power. See, it's all nice and stuff that that happened, but I really don't want to do that anymore because, you know, you can easily lose those elves because of it. And if that's your only crew member, well, you know, the game ends then and there. <clears throat> you didn't get the option to not use an elf and uh, the game decides to kill him off and then you're done. <sighs> yeah, sure, it's a really good amount of scrap, really. No, you need to be in there. So I to get a bit more scrap in before we hit up that store, because, you know, I'd still like to get cloaking. Hmm. We can sell that. Let's go here and then we'll do up both of our stores. Come on, 14 scrap. <clears throat> Great, it's a missile launcher. That's an actual ship as well. So this ship is a lot better equipped than the station we just fought. <laughs> Alright, because, you know. Things gotta make sense, right? Even if they don't. And in this case, they really don't. Anyway, let's not waste too much time and try to get that missile launcher offline. Huh? <clears throat> Santa Claus, you better get that freaking fire taken care of. <clears throat> Jeez. Freaking cough. It's going to be there for a while. Maybe don't mind too much. What are you doing with those weapons? Jeez. You're freaking me out. Is it just you still wanting to hit me with another missile or? No, 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 no. All right. Come on, cloak. Nope. Get some more elves in. Here we go, let's get another one. Yeah, you can be dwarfs, that's fine. Come on, cloaking. Nope. Uh, Naginara. You're good. But it's a bit too expensive at this point. Alright. Alright. Guess we'll just have to rely on bland evasion for our missile defense. Seriously? Five fuel for 16 scrap? Why would you be stupid enough to take that deal? I mean, right? <clears throat> just had to, right? Yeah, we're not gonna give you cloaking, we're just gonna bombard you with missiles. 
That'll work. Oh well. Life's a pain. Good thing that missed. Because that would have brought us down to half hull, I believe. <clears throat> well, joke's on us. He's going to get another one off. Unless we leave. We could leave. Let's see if the missile's going to hit. Yep. Goodbye. We're not taking that. Okay, bit of an odd choice there, but sure. Okay, you can auto fire. Hey, level up. Good. Ah, let's go on shields. Make life easier for the Hasta beam as well. And the fire killed it. It's cool. Don't see that happening too often. And he's leaving, because why wouldn't he? And I don't want to do this, because this thing can't run anyway. <clears throat> you have charged out of the room, quickly returning with an armful of resources. Looks up that you expectantly, you're not sure what happened, but you say good job until I get back to work. <clears throat> Thanks, lads. Alright, let's see if we can not murder you. That's a shame. Ah, that's a shame. Ah, well. Not gonna hang around for the artillery, so. Uh, sure, I think we got some time. I just screwed myself, didn't I? Well, actually, that's fine too. If we end up dying, we die. Why am I saying that's not too bad? Well, because, you know, it's Friday, and that means we can start off the first week of FTL back in uh, normal kind of fashion. We'll upgrade some things and try to just get out alive, but <clears throat> I'm not really holding out too much hope, really. Alright, so let's do engines. Well, let's do one in engines. I mean, we don't want to... If we somehow manage to escape, we don't want to be completely screwed as well. Yeah, <laughs> missile launcher. Yay! It's PDS, so we actually might just be fine. Well, I mean, the missile launcher is going to cause some problems, obviously, but, uh... <clears throat> Besides that... Not to keep, uh, we're not going to destroy the ship in time anyway, so let's just go. Hmm... Three shields. That's the norm at this point. We're really not too potent, are we? I wonder where all of our money went to. I mean, we still got 200 scrap, but face it, that's not really a lot, is it? Nah, I don't know. <clears throat> all right. Oh, that hurt. Hmm. You even got a buffer in there already. Jeez. So you got seven shields. Where the hell are we? <clears throat> hmm. 
Open season. Sure. While searching for weaknesses and nearby strategic points, Duff picks up life signatures of old, two old drinking buddies. It's an AI ship! Oh. It immediately invites them over to your ship. Crew joined. Oh, he joined us. What? <laughs> Alright. Cool. Doing too well doing it, but we're living life. And that's the last bit of our fuel. Well, that was fun. Not even a store nearby, so that's even better. Sure, just take all of our scrap. No. Hmm. Alright. Sketchy. Ah, uh, of course, right. There was there was no other way this could end. At the hands of a missile launcher, after having two stores that refused to sell us cloaking. It's fine. Like I said, this will mean we'll be able to uh, start anew next week. Which is good. It is fine, really, it is. Do it! <coughs> Look at all those fancy gear. Oh, Santa Claus is flying out the window. And his presents as well. Alright. Well, that's gonna be it then. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you're still in the series. Feel free to show your support by coming, liking, and or subbing. Next week we'll be done with the Fast and Christmas mod and going back to a regular scheduling. <coughs> we'll have to go through mods that were suggested because it's been a while. And, um... Yeah, once more, a happy 2016, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye, everyone.